welcome to shukumar classes now the topic which i am explaining is ratio analysis this ratio analysis is the problem of 2019 which has been asked in 2019 in karnataka puc second puc that is class 12 okay already in my previous video i have uploaded the problems of 2016 17 18 and 20 19 six marks also has been finished now this is the 12 marks question only this problem is left over into the examination problem because it is the lengthy problem so i cannot include into the previous video so that i have made it as the separate video now the link of that previous classes will be displayed into the disc uh, description those who required you can watch that now coming to the problem The following are the summarized profit and loss account for the year ended thirty first March two thousand eighteen, and balance sheet as on that date. Trading and profit and loss account for the year ended thirty first March two thousand eighteen. Opening stock, purchase, gross profit, sales, and closing stock. The total of both the side is four lakh fifty thousand. Next one is. administrative expenses 50000 interest 30000 selling expenses 40000 net profit 80000 gross profit 2 lakhs and total of both the side it is 2 lakhs and next coming to balance sheet balance sheet as on 31st march 2018 liabilities rupees assets rupees capitals 4 lakhs profit and loss account 1 lakh creditors 80000 bills payable 60000 land and building 2 lakhs plant and machinery rupees 1 lakh furniture rupees 1 lakh stock rupees 50000 debtors 60000 bills receivable 50000 cash at bank 80000 now with this given information they are asking us to calculate what are the things they are asking us to calculate very first one is inventory turnover ratio trade receivable turnover ratio trade payable turnover ratio gross profit ratio net profit ratio operating ratio so out of the six calculation first three are relating to the turnover the answer for turnovers will end with times what is this turnover this turnover means sales turnover means sales in another manner the sales will be called as revenue from operation revenue from operations either it can be used as sales or it can be used as revenue from operation or it can be read as net revenue from operation in case if we change and write in any places all this different word will mean the same meaning sales also is same revenue from operation also is same net revenue from operation also is same and next coming to gross profit ratio net profit ratio and operating ratio these three things will end with the percentage yes to make it as convenient for us it is a small chain small box it has been made into the problem first one is inventory turnover ratio 
the formula is inventory turnover ratio is equals cost of revenue cost of revenue divided by average inventory average inventory yes second one is trade receivable turnover ratio trade receivable turnover ratio refers to trade receivable turnover ratio refers to credit sales that is credit revenue divided by average trade receivables average trade receivables average trade receivables yes third one is trade payable turnover ratio trade payable turnover is compared with the credit purchase credit purchase whole divided by average trade payables average trade payables yes after this coming to next one is gross profit ratio this gross profit ratio refers to gross profit divided by revenue from operation into 100 next one is net profit ratio net profit divided by revenue from operation into 100 next one is operating ratio operating ratio is equals cost of revenue cost of revenue plus operating expenses operating expenses whole divided by revenue from operation revenue from operation in 200 yes these six calculations we are going to do now as per the given information in the problem now cost of revenue we have to calculate the formula for cost is equals cost is equals sales minus profit what profit is gross profit that's it now you can look into the question the sales is 4 lakhs and the gross profit is 2 lakhs therefore 4 lakh of sales minus 2 lakhs of gross profit the balancing figure will be my cost is 2 lakhs so we got the first of the formula cost we got it is 2 lakhs divided by the second one we have to calculate the average inventory average of the inventory is the formula is opening stock inventory means stock opening stock plus closing stock whole divided by 2 so what is the opening stock given in a question the opening stock is 40,000 and closing stock is 50,000. Therefore, 
this 40 and 50 we have to take the average so 40,000 plus 50,000 divided by 2 we get 45,000 now 2 lakh divided by 45,000 is equals 4.44 times is equal 4.44 times the first answer is over coming to second one is trade receivable turnover ratio so receivable receivable means that when I made the credit sales when I made the credit sales, then only I should receive. That's the reason our formula is credit revenue. Revenue means sales. I can alternately write it is that credit sales. That is divided by average trade receivables. Now let us see as per this problem. The sales given it is 4 lakhs is given, but it is not mentioned whether it is cash sales or credit sales. Therefore, entirely that 4 lakhs is treated as the credit sales. 4 lakhs. And the next one I have to find the average trade receivables. The formula for that average trade receivable is as follows. That is opening debtors plus bills receivable plus closing debtors plus bills receivable whole divided by 2 so this formula will be applicable only if all the given data is available if any of the data is not available it cannot be divided by 2 in case opening is given, closing is not given. Or closing is given and opening is not given. So under that situation, you cannot divide it by 2. Why the reason I am saying here is, the balance sheet date is 31st March 2018. That is the closing date. On that closing date, only debtors is given, bills receivable is given, the debtor's amount is 60,000 and the bill's receivable amount is 50,000. So only closing balance is given and opening balance is not given. Therefore, we cannot divide it by 12. So 60,000 plus 50,000, the total you get it is 1,10,000. 1,10,000. Now therefore, I cannot divide it by 2 because both opening debtors and BR uh, is uh, only opening debtors and BR is not given closing debtors and BR is given so that we cannot divide it by 2 then what I should do my average trade receivable is 1,10,000 what I should do 4 lakhs divided by 1,10,000 is equals 3.63 is equals 3.63 times so in all the turnover ratios problem and all it will end with the times coming to next one is trade payables the payable means that when I purchase the goods then only it is payable so therefore credit purchase is taken into consideration now again as per this problem the purchases is given to lakh 10000 so it's not mentioned whether it is credit purchase or cash purchase therefore we should consider that as the credit purchase 2 lakh 10000 and the second thing average trade payables once again let me apply this formula average trade payables is equals 
opening creditors plus bills payable plus closing creditors plus bills payable whole divided by 2 again as per this problem opening is not given therefore no need to divide it by 2 only closing creditors and bills payable is treated as the average now creditors is 80,000 and bills payable is 60,000 80 plus 60 is 1,40,000 80,000 plus 60,000 is equals 1,40,000 so 2,10,000 divided by 1,40,000 2,10,000 divided by 1,40,000 is equals 1.5 times is equals 1.5 times so out of 6 calculation 3 calculations over coming to next one the gross profit ratio the gross profit given here it is 2 lakhs and the sales given here it is 4 lakhs so therefore the formula as per gross profit is GP divided by revenue from operation. Gross profit is 2 lakhs and revenue is 4 lakhs. Therefore we get 50%. And next coming to net profit ratio. The net profit given in a problem is it is 80,000 and the revenue is 4 lakhs. Therefore 80,000 divided by 4 lakhs into 100 is equals 20%. Next one is operating ratio. The formula for operating ratio is equals cost of revenue plus operating expenses into 100 divided by revenue from operation. Cost of revenue we have calculated already very very first formula itself in the very first formula itself. Anyway, I have calculated once again here it is sales minus gross profit sales we have 4 lakhs and gross profit we have 2 lakhs 4 lakh minus 2 lakh it is the 2 lakhs that is this 2 lakh and what is this 90,000 this 90,000 is the operating expenses what is that operating expenses administrating expenses plus selling expenses the administrative expenses given in your problem is 50,000 and selling expenses given in your problem is 40,000 you can see here administrative expenses is 50,000 and selling expenses is 40,000 so 50 plus 40 it is the 90,000 therefore overall we have 2,90,000 divided by 4 lakhs into 100 so what is our calculation 2,90,000 divided by 4 lakhs into 100 is equals 72.5 percent 72.5 percent that's it about this problem thank you very much